Joel, congratulations on being nominated for Glazer of the Year. Thank um, you. You you pronounce your last name for me, please. Joel and Corn. And Joel, you are from Cornwall, Ontario. And when you were a child, did you think you'd be a glazer when you grew up? Actually, I did not. It was probably the last thing on my mind. How did you get I, into uh, the glazing industry? Well, that is an interesting question. Um, uh, I, I started uh, on a career path um, when I was young, uh, working at McDonald's restaurants of all things. Uh, I used to deliver paper. Um, I went and worked at McDonald's and I got into a food service career and I spent about 15 years of my life working towards a, a career in the food services. And I actually got a red seal certification, uh, in my trade. Um, I worked in it for 15 years and one day or a couple of times, actually, uh, one day a friend of mine uh, in the trade asked me if I wanted to work as a construction worker. And uh, I promptly turned down the offer and said that I was working on my food service career. Well, some time had transpired. And again, the same person asked me again a second time if I wanted to work as a glazer. And I, I had no idea what glazing was. All I knew is that it was a construction job. In any case, uh, I was at a point in my life, a crossroads, and I decided that, okay, I have nothing to lose. And uh, I said, okay, and I'll go work with this uh, person. And I uh, got a job with them. And I started my career working as a glazer. Uh, one of the first things I noticed right away, um, I typically worked uh, in the food service industry um, holidays, nights, and weekends. Uh, when I got into the construction trade, the first thing that I noticed was that I worked Monday to Friday and I had my weekends off, I had my nights off, and I had holidays off. And the money that I made um, was uh, a little bit more than I was used to. So I was sold basically my first week of employment working as a construction worker, as a glazer, and I wasn't actually a glazer at that point, uh, but I felt very comfortable where I was and uh, was ready to embark upon uh, a new, a second career, let's say. What are some projects you've worked on? Uh, I, I'm currently working in the nation's capital of Canada, Ottawa, and I'm proud to say that I work on... Um, a lot of commercial uh, infrastructure type jobs. And one of the ones in Ottawa that I'm really proud of uh, being participant on was um, Museum of Science and Technology. Uh, it's a, uh, there's a couple of buildings that were uh, constructed. One was an older building that's actually the museum that's open to the public. The other building that I was participant on, as far as the construction, it was a new build. And um, it's supposed to house Canada's treasures. Um, it's a storage facility. And in this case, it, it houses uh, planes and trains. So it's a rather large uh, structure. And um, anyways, I'm always proud to participate on any job uh, that contributes to any community's infrastructure. Uh, How would you define a glazer? Somebody that has um, multiple skill sets, multiple tools in their tool belt. And it's not just um, having a, uh, a pry bar and a knife and a pair of rubber gloves. A glazer is a lot of um, things, a diplomat, somebody who has to liaise between a client and uh, the, the shop, for example, you need to relay and share information about what's happening in the field. Um, How would you define a leader? A, a visionary, somebody who is able to read and interpret um, the situation, whether you're dealing with people or whether you're looking at uh, blueprint prints and drawings, um, a leader will be somebody who can um, 
read the situation, uh, interpret it, and apply whatever is necessary. Um, again, skills, uh, technical to the job, and or personable people skills interacting with other individuals, um, and uh, being a team player, um, empowering people to uh, to be the best that they can be. Where do you want to be in five years? Where do you see yourself in five years? You know, five years from now, where do I see myself? F 15 years ago, I did not see myself here today uh, working as a glazer, doing what I do in this trade every single day that I go to work. Um, I say that with a little bit of pesticism in my mind, uh, in my tone, in my voice, but uh, I like what I do. Believe me, I enjoy doing what I'm doing, but... I had a vision about what I thought I saw in this process, uh, starting out as an apprentice, um, you know, and working my way up. Now I'm a journeyman. At some point in time, I've had foreman jobs. I've run jobs. I've been responsible for, for other employees. I thought to myself, I was going to climb this corporate ladder, going to work as a laborer, apprentice, journeyman, someday maybe a foreman, someday project manager, maybe someday I'll even own my own glass shop. And in my the back of my head, all of these things were turning around, just like it was in the food service career when I first started out. I thought, great, I'm going to work as a dishwasher, work my way as up as a cook, then I'm going to be a manager, then I'll own my own restaurant. And I still have those thoughts in the back of my head, John. Uh, like five years from now, I, I would like to see myself as a project manager. I'd like to see myself as a foreman. I'd like to see myself in those positions of leadership, running jobs, having the confidence of the employers progress that career to that five-year goal of project management let's call it that what what do you need to do between now and then to achieve that go back to school um i actually was registered this year or last year 2022 for uh, a fall semester or spring i can't remember but anyways yeah there's a local college uh, where i'm working and I had registered myself. Of course, I don't have the time or the commitment. So what does that mean, the commitment? You have to quit your job. The schooling takes place. It's like a one-year fast-track program. Um, but you need to be available during the weekdays to be able to. So, you know, I've tried to coordinate different things over the course of time to make this happen. For me to get that uh, position, I'd, re I'd have to go back to school. Um, and schedule some time off of work to be able to commit to doing uh, something like that, John. Joel, I hope you get there. Congratulations again on being nominated for Glazer of the Year. Thanks, buddy. And best of luck, man. Thank you. Appreciate that, John. Thank you. I enjoyed the conversation. You have a great night. You too, bud. Take care. <laughs>